Hey everyone, how you all doing? Uh, Bebop recently, uh, I mean Parrot, Parrot recently released a firmware version 4.3.1 for the Bebop 2s and this firmware includes two fixes and two improvements for existing features on the Bebop. The first fix is the cancellation of the hand launch. Now you can now cancel the hand launch. When you hit hand launch you can cancel it and it'll stop. It won't take off. Uh, the second fix is uh, the erratic motion which it has when you set a POI in the flight plan. The improvement, first improvement is the battery management at low altitude flying and the other improvement is the animation for POI in follow me mode and um, flight plan. So this is an example of a hand launch successful. This is a cancelled hand launch. Alright, next thing we're going to review is the POI fluid motion video in flight plan. Now version 4.3.1 update um, states that the POI video has been improved. So if you used to use flight plan before and have POI set, you'd notice that the video would um, move really quickly and there's uh, not a very smooth transition in positions and angles as it turns the drone physically while keeping the point of interest in frame. But this is the test after the update and it is very very smooth. It is way better than before and a lot of people that use flight plan with POIs would really appreciate this. This test started off with 1 meter per second speed which is the slowest in flight plan and it ends with 10 meters per second while staying on the same target. Right, the next thing I'm going to review is the follow me mode. In version 4.3.1, the latest update for the Bebop 2, they state that in the follow me mode they have improved the fluid motion of the drone or the video during follow me mode. Now you've noticed in the previous videos and other people have had follow me mode activated where the video would shift really quickly um, as the drone changes position to follow you. Now this is what the update is about. The update has improved this to uh, create a very fluid motion in follow me mode. And I'm really happy with this update and I think a lot of people that use follow me mode would be happy with it. So I'm just going to let you watch the video and you can decide for yourself if it's better or not. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope uh, this has given you some insight to the improvements and fixes that the new firmware version uh, has brought to the Bebop 2. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please write in the comment section how you think I could have improved this video and I'll put that in on my next video. Until then, safe flying.